Welcome to New York, home of Nation's Restaurant News' editorial team and one of the greatest restaurant cities in the world. New York City needs no introduction, but the four brands we decided to profile this time do. We chose four standout emerging concepts that are New York City based, who are expanding outside of the tri-state area, and each have unique brand propositions. Get to know these four emerging New York City concepts along with senior food and beverage editor, Brett Thorne. We are here at Bear Burger, a New York City-based chain that's gone through a lot of sort of transmutations. It actually started out as a club, like a dance club in Queens, and they started serving burgers, and customers were like, these are really good burgers. And so they changed that concept. I don't know what happened to the original club, but, but the same people opened this burger chain called Bear Burger. It's a full-service, casual dining chain and they used to have a bunch of exotic burgers. They had ostrich and elk and bison. And then they started going down a more vegan friendly path. So we still have the burgers and there's still some bison, but there also is a bunch of plant-based burger options. They have Impossible Burger, but they also have two burgers of their own. One is a black bean one, and the other is sweet potato quinoa. So we're gonna try some of that. So, so we have a lot of food here, very photogenic. I hope you enjoy it. Looking at it, we're gonna eat it. You're out of luck with that. We got a sweet potato patty here. We got an impossible patty here. Here we have natural beef. And we have this salad named after the Hudson River with a bunch of organic greens and a semi-set-up egg. And then we have the fries that are truffle asiago style, which is to say they got a whole bunch of truffle asiago sauce all over them. And bananas foster shake. Hi, I'm here at Black Tap Raft Burgers and Beer, which is a funny name because they're really known for their milkshakes. Uh, which are over the top and, and have become quite a sensation on Instagram. Uh, but the burgers are actually really pretty awesome. Mm. So Black Cap, our owners, were inspired by, you know, downtown luncheonettes and diners. They love the food, they love hanging out there, and they were inspired to build a place that kind of had that downtown feel um, and their kind of take on delicious and different takes on shakes and burgers. Kind of how it started in Soho with a 15 seat kind of luncheonette counter style burger joint. I think the milkshakes were something that everybody loved to look at and it's something they, they could come in and kind of bring them back to their childhood. Whether it was a piece of cake or an Oreo cookie sandwich, something everybody could kind of dive in and kind of enjoy, but still have that downtown kind of lunch, luncheonette diner feel. We are here at Seymour's, uh, at their new Upper East Side location, their newest location. We have here uh, some of their greatest hits, the, the kale avocado salad and the tuna poke that's been on the menu, both of them since the beginning. We have curried mussels here. And a new item right over here is the buffalo shrimp with uh, crudy tan ranch sauce. Seymour's is a New York City-based sustainable seafood restaurant. We've got five restaurants here in the city. You're now at our lovely newest restaurant, the Upper East Side, 73rd and 3rd. Uh, Seymour's is all about ocean health combined with like really fun beachy vibes. So at our core, our DNA is ocean health and, and our seafood supply chain and how we source our fish. Uh, but at the same time, we want to have really great experiences, uh, delicious food, fun place. It's not, we don't, we're not preachy. We, we don't want to tell you how to think, but we do want to make an impact on the world. You could argue it's counterintuitive in an Italian store, because obviously all of this is domestic. All of this is from, from around the earth. Uh, it's not Italian, but produce, seasonal produce, fresh produce is so important in Italian culture that we always felt that was the right entrance for the store. And uh, again, over the course of the years, uh, we've built uh, 
loyalty. We built a lot of people that have come to trusting the work that we do with our partners at Baldur, who source, who help us sourcing uh, fruits and vegetables uh, from the tri-state area and beyond. Uh, and yeah, people love it. People love our mushroom section, uh, which we have a dedicated fridge for. Over I see there. that. Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, yeah. We, like I was saying, always change, always change the menu, always change the, the decor, and always find stories. So we are constantly looking for partners, people out there that do good work with uh, produce, with meat, with pasta that we can feature prominently and that we can work with. Uh, to go along with the idea of the farmhouse, the greenhouse, and the collaboration with the farmers in the area. Um, and then our team really takes that idea and has fun with it.